Di ba madre ka? O, kita mo naman, sabi ko. Eh, bakit ang pinag-uusapan mo? Oil price hike at ganyan-ganyan. Ang wages. Hindi ba dapat kaluluwa? Dapat yung heaven and hell, ganyan. Sabi ko, bakit? Meron ka bang nakikita ang naglalala ka na kaluluwa? Eh, bakit? Hindi ba sila tao? Ang gays and lesbians? I mean, you mean to say you cannot minister to them because they are gays and lesbians? Pag sinabi mo morality, it's got to do with sex. Why? Immorality is when you do not give correct wages to your workers. That is immoral. This is Breaking Glass. Hi, I'm Jay Bonaflor and this is Breaking Glass. The back cover of Sister Mary John Manansan's book, non Nonsense, the uh, spiritual journey of a feminist activist nun, shows her in a pair of sneakers. Quite apt, as she's been president of St. Scholastica's College, is co-founder of the women's group Gabriela, has written numerous books, has given talks all over the world, and has won several awards, including Marie Claire's, yes, the magazine, 25 Outstanding Women Who Rock the World. Wow. And she's found the time to play guardian angel to people in trouble. Sister Mary John, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, it was your group that protected June Lozada during the ZTE scandal for yeah. about three years, right? Am I yeah, correct? Um, yeah. Tell us about it and, and mm. why did you do it? Yeah, well, actually, it, it was as a chair of the um, Association of Major Religious Superiors. This is the, the association of all major religious superiors, that means provincials, mm -hmm. prioresses. Of the whole Philippines. That would be women religious. No, I mean, women I just, and men. Okay. I am the chair of the women and uh, there's another one and they changed Dodo Fernandez before and then so there are many. Okay. But anyway uh, the, the association has what we call sanctuary program and that has been actually since 1978 but uh, we, we just revived it when mm -hmm. the terrorist act something like that and we knew that there would be people who would be accused of being terrorists or, or people who would uh, say the truth and because of telling the truth, they would be in danger. So we revived this sanctuary program. And in uh, 2008, uh, Jun Rosada came out as a truth teller in the, that uh, NBNZTE um, deal. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and his wife asked us for sanctuary. So mm -hmm. we gave him and his wife and five kids sanctuary. So it's like a witness protection program yeah, yeah, it is. for, for we, people. And then you yeah. took them in, the whole family? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have, we have about 200 plus members. So um, they volunteer. That means people, I mean, convents would say, okay, we, we are ready to house uh, so many and so forth. Like, actually, the one who housed the Lusadas were the brothers of, uh, Christian brothers of De La Salle, of Green Hills. So they stayed in their, in their convent for two years and eight months. How was that like, that whole, you know, all this time working with them, protecting them? Yeah, that what was so exciting, about? you know, talaga. Um, because it was so full of, um, full of uh, surprises. Mm -hmm. And also because you felt you are a part of, of a something that is historic because people were getting so um, cynical about, ah, wala hat korap dito, mm -hmm. walang mangyayari, ganyan. And then you, come up, uh, you meet a person who is willing to tell the truth, kung ano man ang consequence sa kanyang buhay, it doesn't matter. Now, that is something that is uh, worthwhile supporting, di ba? When somebody, you know, puts at, at stake, not only his job, but his, uh, you know, well-being of his family, yung, nagkaroon pa siya ng labing limang, ano, harassment okay. cases, and all and that. Up to now, I think, am I yeah, correct? Yeah, one, still... one is even activated now. Imagine, at this time, and uh, age all when yeah. supposed to be okay na dapat mm -hmm. and, and and why do you think he did it see si, see si Junlan Sado why did he come yeah. out and become a wizard lord well at that time he was calling us from hong kong after he said gulong gulo ang kaisipan ko ang gulong gulo ang conscience ko I, I really want to tell the truth to ease my conscience so it's really kind of there's a spiritual aspect to it mm -hmm. you know? yeah. and in fact tell me you were harassed, am I correct? You, you, you write an incident about harassment that happened to your school, am I correct? Ah, yes. Well, it's not just because of June Lusada. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's a kind of, uh, I have been very, very 
one vocal, <laughs> to say the least, you know. And, uh, well, of course, Jun Dosado was also a factor and mm -hmm. some other things. So it was uh, an accumulation. The harassment was that there was a, there were 13 men who came mm -hmm. in uh, with SWAT mm -hmm. gears and all that. They came in where? Where was this? Where in Leon happen? Ginto, in St. Scholastica. Okay. They, they entered and they disarmed the, the guards and, mm -hmm. and so forth. Uh, and, but before that, in May, that was about October, in May they already um, entered our Marikina school and they were able to get money there because, uh, I don't know. They, so it's really a combination of robbery, kasama na yon. Right. but kasama rin yung threat, kasama na rin yung warning. Yung ganon. And how did you react to that? How, how, you know? Well, actually, wala namang nangyari kasi there, there, there was a woman who is living across us. Mm -hmm. Nakita yung pagbukas, yung pagtulak sa garden, all that, and, and called the police. So, nung dumating yung police, then um, they were not able to disarm all the guards. But they they have they have two cars with them, and they they forced our guard on another side gate to open it for them. Because they are not that many police, so okay. they they I know they uh, they fled, no. Pero sa akin as a, I was a prioress then, no, and uh, <laughs> as I I told in the book, so we were, had a meeting about it, and then ano namin sa sarili namin is that harassment or is that or is that, uh, no, is that uh, robbery? And I had a kind of uh, feeling na, naku, ang mangyayari niya, na, alam ko, ako ang tatamaan yeah, yan. So, so what I did was to take the initiative. So I turned my seat and faced 40 nuns mm -hmm. and said to them, you know, if you ask me my opinion, I think that was not only robbery, that's incidental, but it could be a warning, it could be a threat because of what I'm doing. And I, I realized I'm the target, you know. So I told them, so what do you want me to do as your prioress? Would you like me to stop? Siyempre, I was a little bit nervous. Baka sabihin mo, you stop kasi you are endangering us. But what was so beautiful there is that the older sisters, silang unang nag-umpisa, mga above 70, ganyan. Sabi nila, you know, we cannot anymore do anything sa mga nangyayari. But we think that this whole this thing is a part of our prophetic mission. Wow. So they accepted it. At least four or five or six uh, sisters mm -hmm. said the same thing, you know. Uh, that means to say that although they were not very pleased about nangyari, parang nakikita na, it's just a consequence of what we have what, what you professed have, what you have to as, a, as, as religious to be prophets in this world, to, to denounce the good news and to, uh, to announce the good news and to denounce the bad news. And I thought, eh, ay, yung mga bata kaya, anong tingin nila? Uh -huh. Or oh, then some a, a, a young, younger sister told me, sister, I just wanted to tell you, but you were on the phone, that I'm with you, I support you, I know you are not doing this for yourself, and we just have got to make sacrifice. So I felt so, you know, I felt so confirmed and affirmed. And in fact, this, this, uh, yung, 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 this ugali mo of protecting people, you say you got this from your <laughs> from mom. my mother. I mean, it's a virus. Yan ang, yeah, yan ang well, no, I mean, oh, yeah. Ang ibig sabihin, my mother kasi, uh, she was such a generous person that, sabi ko nga dyan, uh, even if the, there are many more people richer than she was. Mm -hmm. But lahat may utang sa kanya. <laughs> Di ba? At saka para siyang refuge of sinners mm -hmm. or a lady of perpetual. Mm -hmm. Lahat ang mga may problema. Yung, yung mga unwed mother, yung, mm -hmm. yung mga gustong mag-asawa ng 16, ayaw ng mga magulang, yung mga gano'n. Yung, so, nag, oh, yung, yung nag-aaway ng mga siblings mm -hmm. because of inheritance, mga gano'n, puntahan natin ang nanay ko. Mm -hmm. So, nakita ko siguro yun, at siguro pumasok sa virus sa akin na <laughs> when there is something to be, you know, that you can help, mm -hmm. you, you help, no? Di ba? You know, you'd become a nun in the late 50s and then by the 60s you were sent abroad to study, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's where you met the theologian Carl, Carl Runner. Runner, yes. yes. Tell us about him. What did you learn from him? Oh my God. <laughs> it's, so, it's so difficult to say even in an hour what Carl <laughs> Runner is. No? But I'm sure all those who, who have studied theology know that Carl Runner is the greatest, and I mean the greatest, theologian of the 20th century. He was, uh, you know, he was advisor in the Vatican Council, and he wrote a lot of books on it's very difficult. <laughs> and Germany is very long. Yung mga, Mahirap siya. Even Germans cannot understand it. So anyway, uh, he was very, very um, progressive. He was very, you know, he looked very much ahead of his time. And he was a very deeply spiritual person. And very simple person, very humble. Yeah. And, and what kind of, of, of theology did he, did he espouse? I mean, well, 
I mean, if you look at the Vatican II, he actually influenced that. That means to say that it's a theology that is not just up there above, you know. But it's just got something to do with this world, what this world is about and all that. But we, always, uh, always, always um, preserving the, what he calls the, the tremendous mystery that's God, you know. So, we'll, we'll talk about that. I, I, we'll get into the Vatican too because that's a very mm -hmm. important part. Yeah, it's the 50th anniversary. That's right, oh. correct. We, but first I want to go back 